I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, and this is an overview of the new sleep tracking functions in the Fitbit app. So as you probably know, Fitbit is a great system for tracking fitness, um, and I actually just got the new Fitbit Ionic, which is the newest smartwatch that they offer. And one of the great things that they have is this app where you can actually track all of your fitness-related stats. Um, one of the newer ones that they've improved upon recently is sleep tracking. So you can see down here in the app, I can go in and click on sleep tracking, and it pulls up for me all of the information on um, how I've slept in the last week. So you obviously you have to wear your tracker to sleep, and it uses heart rate and probably some other technologies, movement, things like that, to track when you go to bed automatically, and then when you wake up, and also how well you slept during the night. And one of the new things that Fitbit has added in that's really pretty awesome is actually estimating what sleep stage you were in at different points in the night. So you can go in here and see what time you went to bed and what time you woke up, but you can also see exactly how you slept during the night, so how much time you spent awake, and there's little um, dots you know, along the top there showing you wake up pretty frequently, um, and then of course there's some longer chunks where you might wake up for couple minutes and not go back to sleep. Um, and then there's REM sleep, which is um, where your eyes are moving, and that's associated with dreams. Light sleep, that's really the majority, and it's just sort of restorative. And then deep sleep, which is more restorative from a workout and um, you know muscles and things like that. So again, you can track um, over the course of the last night, and then you can go back also and click on a different night and do comparisons and see you know, how did, I, how did I sleep that night? I can make changes, I can try to get more sleep. Um, some other really useful functions, you can go in here and again, you can see the actual breakdown of how much time you spent in each of those sleep cycles. You can also get a 30 day average. So you can see how your night compared to how you normally sleep. And then you can do a benchmark where it shows how you write rate versus people of your same age bracket. So you can see if you're sleeping more or less in a particular sleep stage. And I find this to be really helpful just in order to track uh, how you're sleeping, try to get more sleep, and also make sure the quality of your sleep is good.